Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the L-E-S, a.k.a. Mr. Fresh to Death. Your GOAT's favorite GOAT. Your icon's favorite icon. I was the first to do everything, even before Soldier Boy's dumbass. Hey, listen, she finna hook up with me like terms and conditions. I told her, chill, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm famous. You dig? Did AKA make me more famous or did I make AKA more famous? I think we, we both met each other at the right time of, of our career to get into the game before him. I think we both made each other famous at the same time. John Cena followed me, he did. Um, did it make me more famous? No, it didn't. It didn't make me as famous as Shawn Majorzy, so I'm very jealous. I thought I would at least get a visit from him. John Cena at the All White Pool Party or something. I am for love and I am for hip hop, but I am for hip hop first because I found love in hip hop. Write that down. Who does not belong on a love and hip hop uh, cost? Uh, not in this cost, yeah? Uh, Kelly Kumala. Because she got a lot of shit to take care of. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah, she, I don't think she need to get on TV. <laughs> Starting a podcast didn't really necessarily uh, help with my visibility because I feel like I have contributed a lot to the industry um, and I feel like my visibility is like the Mount Rushmore. My face is always going to be there in your dreams, when you wake up, in the north, even here in this house. I don't even know where we are. Where are we? Generally, I'm an icon. I'm your goat's favorite goat. You already know what it is. It's your boy, the L.E.S., a.k.a. Mr. Fresh to Death. On the 27th of February, catch me right here on MTV for Love and Hip Hop.